I'm reluctantly recording this video. There has been some news and some pretty substantial news, but I'm not a news channel. I like some of the technical side, but I try to veer away from the politics a little bit. Um, it's the extension of the boiler upgrade scheme. So now that it can cover air conditioning, air to air heat pumps. Now it's been a bit of a journey and a bit of confusion because uh, we had this announcement back on the 10th of April and back then we knew that there was consideration within the DESNES, um, that government department, that they were considering this as an option to try and reduce the amount of gas and oil boilers. And back then, uh, consultation and industry experts were talking about how this can be done. And there's been a push from uh, companies like Tepio, for example, heat batteries, to try and get their pound of flesh from the government grant. If you're interested in heat pumps, you're interested in renewable technology, battery solar, those sorts of things, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to the channel for more content like this. Um, then confusingly, 13th of November uh, last week, we've been having this constant barrage of Rachel Reeves is going to do this and she's going to do that and everything else. And it's oh, just scaremongering and I don't like it. And so I didn't wade into it and I didn't even give it the time of day. Um, in private discussions, I thought it was very unlikely that they would cut it because I know how much the boiler upgrade scheme is costing the government. And in the grand scheme of things, it's a very, very small amount. And um, some of the criticism was only wealthy people are having access to the boiler upgrade scheme. And I've been through this before. You can have a look on the MCS dashboard. You can have a look at some of the data. That's not entirely true, is it? So The Guardian, uh, do better. You can definitely do better journalism than this. Anyway, I want to have a little look at the announcement and then... One of the reasons I'm making this video is because I know there's other people out there that are covering the news in the announcement, but I think there's a few key things missing, and I want to talk about some of the eligibility for this grant and what you need to consider, because I think there's a few people out there that think, oh, great, I can get AC now, and I can get two and a half grand off one cassette that I'm just going to put in my kitchen diner area. That is not what's going to happen, okay? So manage your expectations uh, accordingly. So um, basically what they're announcing that now you can, it's currently £7,500 off the cost of an air to water heat pump. The same as what I've got in my house, you've seen it in previous videos, connects into your old radiator circuit, into your old heating system, your existing system, and uh, it works very effectively, and I'm very happy with mine. But now they are offering 2,500 off the cost of an air to eight air heat pump. And once again, I've made several videos about some of the differences and why they can be good uh, and in some cases not so good but probably a person who has better real world hands-on experience and loves their system is Tim and Kat Screenwalk so go and have a look at him uh, go and have a look at their channel for some more of that information um, previously they had said that we are not going to give you money for these air to air heat pumps because they can be considered air conditioning and so they were worried this was going to increase uh, electricity demand throughout the summer and now they've basically said well we are now running into a phase where a we do have an excess generation in the summer with lots and lots of solar generation and b homes are overheating and we do need to do something about cooling whether you believe in climate change or not, um, the stats are very clear. Here in the UK, if you look at the trend over the last 25 years, the trend line only goes one direction. Anyway, um, I'm getting in the weeds of it a bit too much. Four minutes. Oh, my goodness. OK, so we know what it does. There's lots of statements here. They have also included in this two and a half thousand pounds um, Heat batteries, here you go. Heat batteries included. Watch my video about the Tepio Zeb. I don't have a great opinion about it. It's most people will be considerably better off with a heat pump. Let's just leave it at that, I think. 
Anyway, I want to look at the criteria and what you need to do to qualify. So first of all, the installer needs to be MCS certified. And having a look around, there are plenty of companies that install air to air heat pumps that are MCS registered uh, and certified, but they seem to be the same companies that install air to water heat pumps. A lot of companies that just do air conditioning and specialize just in air to air heat pumps, a lot of them don't appear to be MCS certified. That is a quick scan and a little uh, liberal use of um, AI and using chat GPT and Gemini to try and figure out um, what's what there. But anyway, that's a requirement. Um, this is only uh, this is this only applies to properties in England and Wales. You have to have a valid EPC um, that has been issued within the last 10 years. Um, that's something I've been through on the channel before. EPCs aren't expensive. Um, social housing is not eligible for this. Um, new gen new builds generally aren't eligible, but uh, self builds can be. There's specific criteria for that. The existing heating system needs to be replaced, and it has to be a fossil fuel based system um, or direct electric. So if you've got direct electric heaters they can be ripped out and but you need to replace all of them with an air to air heat pump it needs to be a whole house heating solution and the same for your gas boiler and your oil boiler you can't keep it you can't run it as a hybrid you can't use your gas boiler now just to do your hot water your combi boiler or something like that you need to rip out the whole lot so that may mean that you need to use your hot water cylinder with an immersion element and heat it on cheap off-peak electricity overnight, for example. But your whole heating space, heating requirements have to be met by these air-to-air -air, uh, heat pumps, these air conditioning units. So you can't just fit one cassette downstairs in your living room and say, I I've got it covered. That's probably not going to cut the mustard, especially as MCS are prone to doing some uh, installation audits from time to time. So I don't think many installers would be very keen on that. Um, that's the that that's the essence of what I wanted to share. I noticed a lot of people were tagging me in comments and commenting in other videos that weren't even related to this, and. Uh, asking basically that sort of uh, question. The main two hurdles that, well, they may be hurdles for you, is you will need to replace your whole heating system with one of these, and you will need to find an installer that is MCS certified. Now, two and a half thousand pounds is exactly, to that. that is the exact figure that I plucked out of the sky when we were talking about this last year or six months or however long ago it was. I need to go back and find that previous video. And uh, yeah, while I'm going to be dining out on that forever, I guess the exact figure, because um, I don't believe that Ed Miliband is watching my channel whatsoever for inspiration. I'm sure he's got much better things to do with his time. I'm intrigued to know now whether that brings complete cost parity. We still have the average price of a heat pump going in, still around 12 and a half grand. You take the seven and a half grand off that, it brings it down to five grand to the customer that the customer pays. Does that mean that whole house air to air systems? are being quoted at around seven and a half grand for a complete system. You take two and a half grand off, you get kind of price parity at five grand. And then what do you do about your hot water situation? If you already have a great tank with an immersion element in it, brilliant, you're good to go, green light. Um, of course, you get the benefits of cooling and I'm just waffling now. I've made my main point. I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna stop recording. Where's that button gone? Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Good job. Farewell. Thank you. If you're interested in heat pumps, you're interested in renewable technology, battery, solar, those sorts of things, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to the channel for more content like this.